Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin and this week is one of my favourite weeks of the year. It's the open week where, you know, I can't wait for it to get started. We're only a few hours away now from it starting and, uh, you know, I can't wait for this one. And I'm not a betting man and, and you're probably not, you might not be as well, but this week I've got to have a bet. I always have a little bit of a flutter when it comes to open and uh, I've done my research and I'll let you know what I'm going to pick during this video but what we're going to talk about today because I want you guys to get involved with this as well and you know tell me you know who you're betting on or who you, you you know rooting for and why but we're going to talk about what characteristics the player has to have to win the Open because I've played St Andrews myself and uh, you might have seen that vlog which I'll tag and you don't need to be good in all areas of your game but if you're going to pick someone this week if you're having a little bit of a bet you need to be really careful that you know you pick the right players and I'll tell you I'll tell you who I'd be a bit suspect about and I'll tell you you know what sort of skills they really need to have or I believe they need to have to win the Open but I've got a couple of players in mind and uh, yeah it's going to be an exciting one well, let's get into it so to win the Open you've got to be good off the tee but I'm not talking driver I'm not thinking Dustin Johnson I'm not thinking length I'm thinking precision who can it a good long iron you know something that's on a piece of string to avoid the fairway bunkers now remember you know when tiger woods won in 2000 he didn't use a driver you know he were hitting he got a little bit of a free wood and a two iron and he was really picking on them baked fairways and getting it chasing out sort of 300 yards and hitting it dead straight i also remember sergio and harrington you know they play off and hitting some good long irons into them fairways and really get it chasing out there there still could be a life in the old dog yet so i haven't put my money on harrington i haven't put anything on him but i, I think he could be a little bit of an outsider you know because obviously he's doing quite well on on seniors tour and uh, you know I, irish knows how to play wind you know he's got the game for it but has he got you know, four rounds in him, playing against some of the best players, you know, I'm sure he'll be up for this one, but is it worth a little bit of a, you know, a pound or two pound each way? Definitely an outside bet, uh, but when I'm betting, I tend to try and bet on two people that I think can actually win it, so, um, you know, on a, I'm starting to think of form players, people who might have played in Scottish Open, you know, just had a uh, you know, weaker experience playing in links conditions in in, compet in competition as well. So I've had a look at you know results from there, which is really sort of driving me into my bets. But you know, you can't write the players out like that. You know, Shane Lowry again. I mentioned earlier, they've got the experience in them conditions. You know, they feel at home. How you'll know, guys. You know, there's always a course you've played, no matter what form you're in. You, go, you know, you can't wait to play it because you know it's your course where you do well and it, that's how, you know, mental this game can be sometimes or how mind-driven it can be. It's where your head is, you know. Who steps up when it comes to the Open? Definitely one to think about. So there's a lot of runoff areas at St Andrews. You know, although the big greens, there's going to be a lot of greens missed and there's not always going to be a lot to go over. So it's going to suit somebody who can play a good chip and a run. Someone who's got really good judge and feel to get that ball rolling and finishing up by the hole. That was my first attempt, that one, by the way. <laughs> See if I can do that one again. I'm actually starting to wonder if I should be going for open qualifying next year. Now that one's just come out a little bit hot. <laughs> and that's why I didn't go for qualifying. So you could be thinking, guys, you know, these are golf pros. They're, they're strong in all areas of the game. But it's not true, you know. I think every golf pro will happily put their hand up and say, you know, they've got strengths and weaknesses. And they're not all, you know, there's always a weakness in someone's game or a strength in someone's game. You know, like Tom Watson. You know, what were his strengths when he were leading it up? And I mean, he should have won it. And he's a senior, so, you know, can we write Harrington off, which we spoke about earlier? You know, you don't need length, you need accuracy, which, you know, Harrington's got. I'm bringing him into it a little bit again. 
Um, you've got experience, feel, touch, complaint, wind. I don't know. I mean, I'm putting him as my big outside bet. If I was going to have an outside bet, I'd be going Arrington each way. So I'm going to give that one away. And I think final point is somebody who's absolutely lethal on the greens. And I think this is probably the most important part of the game is somebody that can hole a putt. And I must say, my putt has been a lot better since I put this in the bag. And I've not played James yet. He was supposed to be playing me on Tuesday. But uh, I think he, he heard that I won a friend who I beat a friend over 18 holes free up. And he decided to get some tickets to open instead. Which he always seems to do. He always seems to go missing when I start to get in form. But we will get him. We will get him. And I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. I'm going to tell you where I put my money. And it's a bit of a crazy one, this, because I'd never usually bet on somebody that's just won a major. But I'm going to start with Matt Fitzpatrick as an each way bet. I'm going to start with Matt because he's high on confidence at the minute. He's obviously won the, the US Open. He's just done well in the Scottish Open as well, so he's really on form. He's obviously British, so he's used to playing, you know, Lynxy style golf in wind as well. Uh, putting is hot. He's a hot putter. There's no doubt about that. I would have said he's not longest off the tee, but I think he is very long these days. But that's great because that means he can hit a long iron off the tee or a fairway wood. He's very accurate anyway, so he's going to be able to get it out there. And I think you know he's confident he's on form the only thing that could get him here is that if the media are all over him because he's obviously he is one of the players that's in contention or you know people probably think that could possibly win it's whether the, the, their extra media attention could sort of be a distraction for him um, but i'm hoping you know he's dead strong and obviously he's got his family and his friends around him i think that, uh, he'll not get drawn into that i think he'll be really focused this week and I'd really love to see him, you know, win the Open. Being from Sheffield as well, same as myself, it'd be really nice to see him win the Open. I will get one of these if I keep trying. Now, one of the shots you won't need this week is a, is a high lob shot because you're not going to be going over, you know, many trees. But we are going to have a go at that just for a little bit of fun. And I'm going to tell you my number one tip, the tip, the guy who I think is going to win... And the guy I've backed a little bit more heavily. I have only had two bets. Matt's one of them. I might actually sneak that Podrick Arrington one in there, you know. I might get a little bit carried away with myself. You're not going to need that shot so much this week. And I can't say this guy's name too well. You probably already know I'm talking about now. Alexander, is it Shuffley? Um, I'm putting him as my number one pick because he's in hot form. He ticks all the boxes. He ticks all the boxes. He's obviously just won the Scottish Open. It's a little bit too much. Come on, guys, you're better than that. He just won the Scottish Open. Again, like I said with Matt, the only thing that could get in his way is a little bit of media. You know, would that, um, you know, draw his attention away? Would he have a, a few more responsibilities, you know, interviews and stuff like that after winning the Scottish Open? Will he be a bit tired? You know, I don't know, but I've put them down as my two you know, favourites, although I don't usually bet on people who've just won a major or won a competition, because I always feel like that they will have had that little bit more media attention and they might have even celebrated the win and stuff like that, but, you, you know, I can't, I can't think of anybody else, guys, uh, but I would love to know, who's your bets this week? You know, who are you backing? You don't have to be putting money on them, but who do you fancy to win the Open? And I'll get in the comments, guys. I'd love to have a little bit of opinion, a little bit of a discussion with you on that one. And, uh, you know, I hope you're all as excited as I am for this week. Oh, that were a good strike. But not a shot we're going to need. Um, I'd love to get in the comments and obviously, yeah, engage with you guys and, you know... Can't wait to catch up with you after it open and uh, we'll see who our open champion is for 2022. I hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. And if you're not subscribed, do click that subscribe button. Hit the bell as well, because obviously I've noticed, you know, my views are dropping a little bit. So make sure you've got the bell and you don't miss any videos. And uh, we'll see you guys in a few days' time. Bye. One of the points I haven't mentioned actually, which I were supposed to mention in the main part of the video, is that I'm looking forward to seeing how the Live Tour players will do because I don't think they'll do so well this week. Um, you know, I don't think they're 
the the format of their planes is competitive it's a little bit more you know fun Give your Tom. while you're here anyway who's your pick for open this week who's my what who's your pick Shoffley. yeah so yeah, you, same as me but uh, yeah it's gonna be interesting to see how they play you know can they compete still we'll we'll see but i i particularly i don't i'm i don't think they will but let's see how professional they are and let's see whether you know they're putting the same amount of effort in as the other guys or whether it's just a big holiday for them now